Yesterday, I had the privilege to lecture to students at State University. I was invited by one of my most revered friends, Eric Pepper, who is <clears throat> a professor in a State University and also is one of the most known people in the field of biofeedback, which are machines that show you your level of stress and blood flow. One of the things that I did yesterday, beside helping most people to improve the vision within a couple of hours, is showing them uh, my work with Aurora Machado. She came to me for a whole month uh, from Portugal. And in fact, the government of Portugal may end up helping her uh, to pay for my treatments. One thing that I want to say about this is that her professor saw something very, very interesting. What I mean by her professor? Her ophthalmologist. He's a professor of medicine in uh, Lisbon, and he observed her optic nerve due to several really terrible me medical mistakes and her natural eye condition she basically lost 95% of her optic nerve. Listen to this, 95% of the optic nerve in both eyes. And what her professor told her is, or the professor of ophthalmology told her, is that her optic nerve looks like dry fish. <laughs> That's basically how he explained it because it didn't have any circulation. She visited me six years ago, and five years ago, he did with her a very thorough exam and found that there is much more blood flowing to her optic nerve. And he said, it's no longer the picture. Yes, you're legally blind, and your vision right now is very limited. But what's happening that did not happen before is that there are blood circulation to your optic nerve. Aurora improved her vision so much that unlike the time before she came to see me six years ago, she's able to cross the street, she's able to see things, and while she's looking through fog, and the vision is still a little bit less than 2%, it used to be 1% of normal vision, she starts to see large signs, large print, and she notices all large objects. So I'm having a lot of satisfaction working with her daily. And today we improve the distance of big large letters from four feet to eight feet, which was very satisfactory. She loves the oceans, she loved the waves, and she loves to look at things. Now Aurora improved the vision incredibly even though her vision is so low, but we prevented blindness. Just think about yourself in your condition. You could improve yours as well. If we were able to bring more irrigation of blood to nourish the optic nerve, can't you nourish your retina? Can't you nourish your lens? Can't you nourish your cornea? All can happen. The movement of the human potential is empty if we don't think about it in a concrete way about ourselves. So you can work on your myopia and get it better. And everybody who comes to my workshops is surprised to see that they see better. That's because our culture tells us that we can't. That's because the world of ophthalmology decided that we can't. But we can and you can regenerate your brain, and you can regenerate your nerves, and Aurora is the proof. Have good time watching my incredible work with her, and especially her incredible work with herself. Every session gets better. Today we didn't record the session, which was even better than the one that you're gonna see. And watch Sylvia in her highlight. You can see the full documentary in our uh, homepage. But watch what happened with Silvia, who came to me also all the way from Portugal, crossing the oceans and the seas. 
Again and again, I have people who are so happy to come here and improve. I want to see everyone who hears me come and improve themselves. Much love to all of you. Meir. I want to say something. Take, take your glasses off a second. Aurora uh, came to me from Portugal, like Sylvia. In fact, Sylvia came to me thanks to Aurora, because she brought me to Portugal. And Aurora had many, many, many procedures in her eyes that caused her to lose a lot of vision. And in order to uh, protect her vision from any further loss, she came for intensive here six years ago, and now six years later, we're meeting again. She has a lot of fog in her eyes as a result of the fact that there's a huge loss of her optic nerve. In fact, 95% of her optic nerve have been damaged due to all the medical procedures that were done to her, in my opinion. Also, due to natural problems that she had in the eyes, combination. Now we're working on keeping the eyes. I want everybody to remember that shifting is looking at smaller details than we always look at. Now, Jean, can you come here for a second? So, Jean, for you, shifting is looking at my face and seeing where I didn't exactly shave right, right? Okay. Here, a little bit of mustache and heel. That's for you shifting. For you shifting is looking at very small letters, like number eight, as everybody will know, they're the smallest letter. That's not true for Aurora. She doesn't have that kind of vision. For Aurora, shifting is seeing Constantine, seeing uh, Jeanne, and moving from one to the other. So we did a wonderful exercise here. To begin with, what Aurora had to do is what I want everybody else to do. And this is to only focus for a short time on something smaller. So on the way to here, she read a sign. A few letters which are big for everyone else, but small enough for her. And that helped her focus. Then, and I told her, as I'm telling everybody else, don't remain focused for a long time. Focus for a little time to tease your brain so your brain will get it, you're doing it. Her nerves are showing some signs of regeneration right now because today, for a few minutes, there was less fog. Okay? Mm -hmm. yes. Now, look Are right you? now at the. Oh, look! Yeah. The people. You see, yes. she sees the yes. people. Yes. For yes. her, it's amazing to see people from about 60 yards. It's unbelievable for Aurora yes. to see from that <laughs> distance. It's right. Right. unbelievable, but true. Exactly. Oh, uh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, Look. Yeah. Very, very yeah. good. Yeah. So she may not see that the uh, surfer has a surfing board. Okay. Oh yes, but I see. You see the yeah, surfing board? Yes, I, I see. Take, uh, look, look at him. Yes, yes, yeah. it, it's, it's white. Yeah, and, uh, wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. I, I didn't know yeah. if it's a board to surf in the ocean. Yes, yeah. yes. But, yeah. but it is okay. I Isn't see. it? That's the result of the exercise we were doing so far with her. And um, uh, come right here so you see the surfer from closer. Arona. Yeah. Come right here and you can see the surfer and you can see the board. Oh, yes, yes, and the board is yes, wide. Yes, That's yes, some blue yes, ring. Yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. And the surfer is tall. Yes. <laughs> we're doing eye exercises. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. So and he's holding. He's, uh, oh, yes, yeah, my car keys? Yeah. <laughs> car keys she won't yeah. see, but she will see. Oh, no, yes, it's red. Something red. Yeah, red. Yeah, right. Yes, he has yes. part of his pants are red, yes, right? Yeah, yes, they are, yeah? Yeah. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So now we're looking at... This is big for Aurora. This is not something that she can easily see after huge vision loss. So, for example, here is the exercise. You look at the horizon, the whole line of the horizons. Then you look at the ocean. Then before the waves. Then you look at the waves. And then you look at the at the shore. So that's different than shifting for Jean. Jean come a bit closer here. 
for Jean shifting is looking at something smaller, like see maybe there's a boat, or it's looking at see small details. No, not for Aurora, but as a result of that, the big details she can see better and better. Now, Aurora, put your glasses on. Those are glasses with obstruction, where she obstructs her um, left stronger eye. In a way, the left eye is the weaker eye, but it has more central vision. And so she obstructs that, and we do exactly the same thing. Uh, you look, in fact, look right now at Constantine with okay. the with the phone that takes a picture from you. Okay. Can you see the phone? Thank you, Constantine. Can you see? Você pode ver telefone ou não? I can see Constantine. He 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 have something. In the sense, you see my phone. Oh, if I look like this with the peripheral, yeah, I can see the the. Yeah, because what you have in that eye is peripheral vision. Yes, right. But look at the fuzzy part. Look at the phone. Okay, you can see my phone, right? Oh yes, your phone. And then his phone, and then you can look at Jean. Yes. She's there. Do you know that she's wearing glasses? Yes. Yeah. Oh, the glasses I can see, but I can see the shoes. Right. Okay. Okay. So now you see Constantine, and now we'll do the same thing. Look at the sky. Okay. And you see the sky, different colors. In the sky, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, bird! A, yes, a bird. Wonderful. A <laughs> That's big, yeah. So you see the sky, and now you look there. Oh, the colors are changing all the time. Yeah, yes, you yeah. Do, you and see. you can look at the horizons. Yeah. You can look at the way you can look. Here, yeah. This is so wonderful. Again, sky, sky. horizons, yeah. ocean, wave, yeah. shore. Now yeah. take the glasses off. Take the glasses okay. off. Oh. Okay, again. It's now, when you look at Constantine, do you see his I telephone? I see, yes, perfectly, when perfectly you look, well for me. Do you, when you look at John, the, do you the, see the, her the, glasses? I see, uh, the glasses, oh yes, oh yes, I see. Uh, yeah. Well, I can see the color of the, this, of the, but I see your patch, your, yes, perfect, and your, oh, it's this. Oh, it's name, yes. Isn't that nice? Yes. Okay. So yes. I just want uh, want everybody to know that shifting is different. For somebody like Jean, shifting is really looking at small details. For somebody like me, shifting is looking at moderate details. For somebody like Aurora, shifting is looking at big details. But whatever it is, it always helps you to see smaller and smaller and smaller details to keep looking. Okay. Ukrainian ocean. Be careful about the, the traffic. Okay. So now, as we're going to cross the street, okay. you can see the, yes, the crosswalk, the yes, lines, yes. the white and the black. Yes. See, you notice the white and the black here. Yeah, very good. Right. And come here, Aurora. Yes. And to make sure that we're doing well. First of all. Count how many lines are there? Quanto lineas no tempo? Wonderful. Now read for me line number uh, nine. Number nine. Well, I'm going to do what you want I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, uh, I, I don't it's know. End. 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 Uh, uh, pick, pick the, pick the, yeah, pick. pick. Beautiful. That's it. Pick up after. Pick up after. Very good. So now put the glasses on. Do you see Constantine? Yes. Okay. I see Constantine. He, for with some a, reason, with a little fun. He's some, for some reason, he's freezing in this nice warm weather. Now you take a look at uh, <laughs> at uh, Jean. Oh yes. Is Hello. she there? Yes. Okay. Now take the glasses off. How do they look to you? Uh, better. Okay. <laughs> they, so 
Yeah. We, we have colors. They you have colors. Yeah. And and uh, and have colors. Because so we did two things. Okay. We got you to focus. Yes. On for other people it may be big letters, but for you those are small enough. But then we got you to also look with your weaker eye, and you look from point to point with your weaker eye, and now it's easier to see. Okay. okay.